Hey guys, uh, happy Thursday. We're gonna jump into this warm up um, and then we will get into the workout once we're uh, nice and warm. So we're gonna have uh, two parts to the warm up today, starting out with a static warm up. Um, so we're gonna start out with two minutes of a plank and then a one minute wall sit, get the body warm um, and then stretch out a little bit more after that. So for that plank, just a regular plank that we're used to on those forearms, try to keep a nice flat tight core um, and if you need to break it into maybe two sets of a one minute that's fine if you can go through the whole uh, two minutes at one shot and do so we're just looking to kind of warm up the muscles um, get the heart rate up a little bit after that you're going to go straight into a wall set so just find that nice 90 degree angle uh, on the knees trying to keep your hands and forearms off of your um, legs and just trying to maintain this seated position for one whole minute let those legs uh, get nice and warm okay from there you're just gonna go through that once, and then we're gonna go into the warm up, um, which is gonna be a little bit more dynamic, we're moving around. Um, starting out with 10 high knees, we do these in the gym uh, plenty, so we're just in place, trying to get those knees all the way up to uh, the hip crease. Go for 10 on each leg, um, uh, so we can get a, a good number in there. And then just go straight into those 10 butt kicks, same thing, 10 on each side, trying to get your heel all the way up to your glutes if you can, okay? And after that, 10 leg swings. I like to hold on to something so I don't fall over. Um, we're just going back and forward for 10 reps. Once we get those, just switching over to the other side and getting that other leg. Okay? All right, y'all. Um, for the workout today, we've got a 14 minute AMRAP of these three movements. We're going to have 20 bent over rows, 20 alternating leg V ups, and that's going to be 20 total, so 10 on each um, leg. And then 60 double unders. Um, if we can't use our rope for whatever reason, um, we can do uh, jumping jacks instead of the 60 double unders, or we can do two to one singles if we do have a rope but we don't have our double unders uh, down just yet, okay? So for these bent over rows, uh, depending on what equipment you have at the house or what odd object you want to use, um, we, can, we can do it in a little bit different way, okay? So if we've got two, say, dumbbells that are a little bit lighter in weight that we, um, we don't necessarily just want to do one at a time, we can just kind of find a nice hinge over position and do this bent over row with both arms at the same time, okay? Say I don't have lighter weights and I've got one heavier weight, maybe I've got a 55 pound kettlebell or something like that, then I would suggest let's do one arm at a time um, we can find that hinged over position and still do it. Um, I like to do it better if I can kind of post up on um, a box, obviously, or a couch or a chair or something like that. Um, kind of kick that leg back that's on the same side as the arm you're rowing with. And just find that hinged over position and then pull back kind of towards that uh, hip as uh, you pull a kettlebell into your body. Um, using this can kind of just allow you to, to brace against that weight a little bit more than just kind of free hanging like that, okay? If you have a barbell at the house as well, if you've if borrowed it from the gym, just use the barbell alone, or if you've got lighter weights, that's a great option um, as well, okay? Um, if you are uh, using a heavier weight for that and going 20 on each arm is gonna take a long time um, and you're gonna have to break it up a ton, then let's just do 10 on each arm, 20 total, okay? For the alternating leg V-ups, we've been doing these, same hollow body position we're used to. We're bringing that opposite hand to opposite foot. Every uh, time you come up is one rep. That's gonna be 20 total, okay? And then after that, lastly, we've got the 60 double unders. If you don't have uh, the double under unders or the jump rope, you can just go good old fashioned jumping jacks or two to one for singles if you don't have double unders yet. Enjoy. All right, y'all, for uh, the after party, we're gonna do a 30 second Superman hold and then 10 scorpions, we're gonna do 10 on each side uh, to make sure we get a nice good stretch um, through that lower back, okay? So for the Superman, we're just going face down, feet together, arms straight overhead, lifting those quads and that chest up as high as we can. Try not to crank that neck up, keep that uh, head neutral, eyes can just kind of stare at the ground out in front of you, okay? We're gonna hold that for 30 seconds. And then scorpion, we're going into that uh, T position on the ground, so arms are straight out. I can bring the opposite hand in a little bit to help push myself into that position. And I'm gonna go 10 um, each side, so I can go back and forth, hold for a few seconds at the top, and then um, move to the other side, okay? We're looking to get a nice stretch, both through those shoulders and chest, as well as through that low back area, all right? 